So you found out that you're going to kayaking school and you get to go all over the world. <gasps> One problem, you're not very experienced as all other people and just haven't been in kayaking as long. But don't worry, if you follow these steps, I guarantee you will at least be a little bit more prepared. <gasps> tip number one! <laughs> Another tip is to go to your local kayaking store to test out any boats that you might like. Like for me personally, I'm in between the Zen and the Nomad by Dagger, and it's helpful to go and sit in them. I also brought my spray skirt so that, because I might need to buy another spray skirt, but I don't think I will. But that's very helpful. And also to buy uh, any other equipment that you need. Yeah. Number two. Another great way to help prepare you for kayaking school is to obviously like research where you're going. That's kind of like a no-brainer, but um, also practice the language that you're going to be there or using there. So I'm going to Ecuador, for example, so I'm practicing my Spanish skills. So hopefully I can like talk to people in Spanish, which I think is really cool. And I use Duolingo just for like the practice because um, apparently I'm going to be in Spanish 4 and I need to refresh my memory on some Spanish. Tip number three! This tip might seem pretty obvious, but working out, like, or at least working out towards the area of your focus. So, like, for mine, it's kayaking, so I've been working on, like, a bunch of upper body and, like, arm stuff and just, like, stamina because... My legs are super strong from soccer, and I've done, like, a lot of leg st strength and training, but my arms are kind of weak, so I've been trying to focus more about that and then more on, like, my endurance, so, yeah. Let me take you on a closer look to what I do. <gasps> Whenever I go to the gym, I start out for the warm-up, and today I'm doing 15 minutes of rowing. And this is just good for my upper body and my arms because they're weak. And then I don't really know what I haven't planned what else I'm going to do, but we'll find out. So after I row, then I usually either go for a 30-minute run or I ride the bike. And today I'm choosing to ride my, the bike because I ran like yesterday, I think, and I'm kind of sick of it. Even though running's fun, and I like running more like on a trail than like on a treadmill or in the gym. So, yeah. Right now, I think there's a spin class, but I'll join anyways, because why not? Where are you going? Don't you want me? <laughs> like, I'm going to have to move. I'm going to have to move. I'm going to get that out. Another great workout to do to prepare for kayaking school is to do some sort of kettlebell workout. I like to use these videos. Um, they're super hard, and they work your whole body, and they make you feel really strong after it. And then also, they also make you like super, super sore. But after you do it a few times, it helps or you get less sore. So I'd highly recommend doing that. Overall, working out is just good in general. And I also like to do some abs. I try to do running like twice or three times a week. I try to do rowing like twice a week. And then I also, if I have time, like to ride the trainer because I like biking, but I had to sell my mountain bike. But that's a different story. But just getting out and being active will help a lot. And then I also like to do abs. I can't remember if I said that or not. But overall, just any type of workout. I don't really like to pr bench press or like do any heavy weights or anything like that. But Tip number four. I recommend looking up videos like how to roll, how to back deck roll, uh, how to boof, things like that, or just like how to even like catch an eddy, like basic skills like that. If you just watch a bunch of videos, it'll help you on the water because you kind of, even though you haven't really been kayaking, it will help you kind of just have it in your mind, like how to do it. And then it also gets you thinking about, oh, I kind of need to refresh how to do this, or I kind of just and bored and need to watch some more videos because it gets you hyped for kayaking and that's the most important thing. Tip number five! Finally, the 
most important and helpful thing to do to prepare for kayaking school is actually going kayaking. I haven't gone kayaking, so I don't really have any footage to show of me kayaking, but that's okay. Or also, roll practice is really fun. I've done that a few times, but I didn't bring my GoPro. But in the end, at the end of the day, you know, just go and have fun and enjoy yourself and learn a lot. And don't really, if you're not the best, it's okay because the only, you can get better and you'll be the most improved. <laughs> and anyways, enjoy if you're actually going to kayaking school and see you out there on the water. Ooh, bye. Thanks for watching. Also, if you want to keep track of my adventures, I think I'm going to be vlogging in Ecuador. So subscribe. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye. <laughs>